Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. We're back in our Nuzlocke. I did some stuff between episodes. Uh, well, actually, I really just did one thing between episodes. I decided to fully EV train Leaf. Uh, so he is fully EV trained now in special attack and speed. And the reason that I decided to do that, I was thinking about it anyway, but what I what I ultimately, like, decided on was, uh, yeah, he, he kind of needs it. And here's why. Uh, Leaf is an adamant nature. He's a special attacker. Adamant is, like, pretty much the worst possible nature for a special attacker because it lowers special attack. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, he's going to need all the help he can get. Um, and given that he's like our starter and he's going to be on the team probably for the entire series unless he dies, um, I figured, you know what? Yeah, we'll we'll fully EV train him. He's probably going to be the only Pokemon that I actually EV train for this entire playthrough. But I've got him maxed out in special attack and speed. Uh, so, yeah, did that. Between episodes probably took about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Um, of just basically super training over and over and over. Very grindy, um, but, you know, it's it's not super, super terrible. Anyway, uh, so it is time for us to continue onwards with our adventure, I believe. Um, our team should all be healed up. We got to train up a little bit. We're going to have our first gym probably this episode, if I had to make a guess. Let's go ahead and fight some trainers along here, I think. Try and get a little bit of experience, a little bit of money, all that kind of good stuff. Because uh, our first gym, our rock-type gym, is going to be coming up fairly soon. Alright, so they have a C-Dot. Uh, oh, I'm leading with Fang? I didn't realize Fang was the first dude in my party. Okay, that's fine, though. Uh, let's go for the Thunder Fang. He's going to use Bide. Okay. Um, that is not great. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go Howl. He's going to hit me with the Bide, which means he'll hit me for twice the damage that I initially did to him. But I can raise up my attack a bit here, and then I can do it again. Yep, we're going to get hit for a bit. All right, so my attack is now essentially double what it was. That means I should be able to two-shot him before he kills me with Bide. Ah, he's going to use Harden. Okay, so that basically takes out one of my attack bonuses, but we should still be able to take him out here. If he Bides again, we'll be fine. All right, there we go. We'll just have to finish him off. Easy enough. All right, one down. One trainer down, and I think there's at least a few more to go. Actually, we'll just, uh, let's leave T Fang in here against Halo, because this is a good matchup for us. Let's go for the Thunder Fang. Should be able to one-shot him, especially since we still have our attack boosts from before. Goodbye. Adios, Talo. Nice knowing you. And Fang will level up. Get to level 7. Oh, and learn Sand Attack, which is kind of a cheating move, but sometimes, you know, maybe maybe something horrible happens and we have to go for a cheaty move. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think what we want, we've got Fang up to seven. I think I want to get mine up to, uh, I want to start working on that, uh, that a little bit here. Oh, yeah, you're not a trainer. You're just a fisherman. All right, here's Mr. Briny. He'll be our ride later, I believe, right? Yep. There's his boat. There's nothing over here. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any trainers. You look like a trainer. You are not a trainer, but yes, you can totally have a potion. I've got tons of them. You didn't give me anything? You didn't, I, just, I just did a good deed and I didn't get anything returned. That doesn't happen in games very often. Usually you get something back. But that's fine. I mean, I've got, as I said, I have tons of potions. I don't need that many. Looks like we'll fight some sort of wild something. Oh, look. Mine versus a, a wingle. Um, I am quite confident that I can, that my wingle will be better. Because I will know better than to use Growl on a Pokemon that only knows Water Gun. Oh, 
this is going to take a million years. All right, uh, change of plans. I think we'll just switch to Fang and let Fang kill it in one hit. I think I much prefer this I, this option here. We'll get growled at. Go for a Thunder Fang. And yeah, this should do it. Four times weak to electric, so goodbye, Wingle. Moving on. Oh, look, berries. I'll take them. The more berries, the merrier. And no, I will not replant. Because realistically, I'm probably not going to be back here anytime soon. There's probably... I don't remember for sure, but I believe that Omega Ruby has like a designated berry farm or area or something where you can go. This guy looks rich. I have a feeling he's going to give me a lot of money. Yeah, and actually, he said, I'll give you, a, I have a lot of money. So, Rich Boy Winston. Let's see if your team matches up against mine. You have a Zigzagoon level 8. Wow, that's, that's actually pretty high. Um, can Bandit take one hit? I don't think it matters. I think we just switch to Leaf. Cause this is actually like pretty tough zigzagoon, all things considered. We got tackled. All right, let's see if that all that EV training paid off. Let's go for an absorb and see how much damage we do here. Wow, that that, that did not do all that much. Ugh. Okay, it's fine though. Defense fell. I can't say I'm a huge fan of that. I'm just gonna keep absorbing though and hope that he can't. Uh, hurt me too bad. Lowering my attack doesn't matter, because I'm using special attack right now. Let's see if the rich boy has a potion or something. It wouldn't surprise me too much. Yeah, full restore. <laughs> ah, how dare you? That's just bad form. Cheater. Surely he only has one, though. Like, he can't have that. Ah, wow, that was actually a lot of damage for a tackle. Thankfully, I'll get some of it back. And I guess what we're... I guess we're basically just gonna have to hope that he doesn't, like, crit on a tackle or something. There we go, we got him. Oh, man. All right. Zigzagoon is down. And we've got quite a few levels from that, which is lovely. Mine gained enough to grow two, maybe three levels. Two levels. All right. Well, that's something. Up to level five. No supersonic now, which it didn't before. And I believe we are almost ready to catch another Pokemon. Let's just check on our team. Do we need to heal at all? I think we're probably okay. I mean, I've got a bunch of potions. I could always use a potion if I need to. I'm gonna have bug catchers in here. I would love to learn a flying type move on mine. That would be ideal. That would really help me with all these bug Pokemon. If I could learn like Gust or Peck or something along those lines. Wing attack, anything, any sort of flying type damage move. I think mine learns Gust, like, sort of early? I don't really remember. It's been a while. Okay, you go for a Tackle. I go for a Water Gun. You go for a String Shot. Okay, I was expecting another Tackle. I was expecting we were just going to bounce back and forth. My Water Gun, their Tackle, my Water Gun, their Tackle, until one of us died. But, since you decided to basically take a turn off from attacking... I will happily... Water Gun you to death. Goodbye! And then we'll switch out mine. Oh, actually... We will keep battling because mine is so close to leveling up. <laughs> I should switch out, but I'm not going to. 
Uh, let's switch in... Bang, I guess. A little hurt, but I think the Thunder Fang will be able to do some work here, so... And it is only a Wurmple. They're not exactly known for their incredible physical strength. Okay, that did four damage. So I should still be out of crit range. Let's go for another Thunder Fang. He decides to take another turn off from attacking and lower my speed instead. And that's the end of that Wurmple. So now, Fang gets 60 experience, mine gets 60 and grows to level six. Uh, let's put Bandit out there, honestly. Bandit needs some experience as well. He's the lowest on the team by far. And we'll see if maybe Bandit can take on the Wurmple. I mean, I do have a tackle attack. We'll see how much it does. Not a lot. I guess it's really just going to depend on how much this Wurmple can do to me. We'll, uh, we'll, just, we'll basically just keep tackling, I think, and see what happens. Okay, his tackle does a lot more. Um, if he doesn't tackle here... Yeah, he did. Okay, so we're going to have to switch Bandit out. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, so let's go Pokemon. Mine is also hurt. Do you have... Now you still only know Bide. All right, uh, let's go Leaf, I guess. Yes? Or maybe mine. Mine should be okay to finish off this Wurmple, I think. I think mine can tank two hits. Especially if he uses a string shot. Okay. Fight! Water gun. Finish it! That way our two weakest Pokémon get some experience. And it grows probably to level five. Nope, only to level four. Okay. Well, still, that's fine. Uh, we have not yet caught a Pokemon here. And honestly, I think I would kind of prefer to return to town to heal first. Just because our team is so, well, nah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go... Oh, that's Pokedex. Just kidding. Items is the yellow one. There we go. Let's go ahead and let's just use a potion on... Uh, mine, I guess? Sure. And mine's gonna help us catch a Pokemon. That is the new plan. Because we haven't caught one yet in this area. And I would like to get one. Some things on the ground, even when you can't see them. There, really? Nothing here? I feel like there should be something there. Oh, this is... I feel like that's a trainer, and we are not able to fight a trainer battle right now. There we go, finally. <laughs> that took forever to get. Alright, so we got a Silcoon. Which will evolve into something? Dustox, I think? It doesn't actually isn't Silcoon one of the ones that evolves into like two different things? Like either a Dustox or maybe a Beautifly? Something like that. Can it take another hit? Maybe, but I'd rather not risk it. Let's, uh, let's just go for the Pokeball. I don't want to kill it. We get very limited chances to catch Pokemon in this game, so... I think we just take it and go. Alright, nothing. I'm just looking through the power, magical powers of... Google. This is a white one, so this will evolve into Beautifly. You know what, I think we, we do go for the Water Gun. 
I think that should knock it down low enough, and it should live. Or it'll get a crit and kill it. Well, so much for that. Okay, well, at least we only lost a Beautifly. <laughs> and not something that I care about more. I suppose it could be worse. I, there are worse things to lose. All right. So, you... Oh, are you not a trainer? Oh, okay, yeah. Telling me to not to steal people's Pokemon. Because I totally would have stolen people's Pokemon if you didn't tell me that. All right, we're going to head back to town and heal. Because our team is in fairly rough shape. Once we get a little bit more money, I'll be able to just buy tons of potions and stuff. So that we won't have to run back to town. Just for the more for the sake of the series than anything else. If I was just playing this and not recording it, I would probably run back to town more. Um, but that's okay. All right, back to the woods we go. We got Mr. Briny's house here. We got a random Pokemon battle with the uh, Zigzagoon. How close to leveling up are you, mine? Not very. I think we're just gonna run. We're just gonna get away where we can. That's fine. All right, we should though put probably Bandit in the first slot. So we can get him some experience, even though he's probably going to be off the team at some point. Please. Please, game. All right, there we go. So that trainer we fought. This, I don't believe, goes up. I think we have to go up and around. If I recall. Ah, Wurmple. I actually would have rather found the Wurmple. Instead of the, uh, the Silcoon, but that's okay. I like to be, uh, you know, I like to fill out a little bit more of the Pokedex when possible. Although, I don't know, Zlock, you're not really going for massive Pokedex numbers anyway, because realistically, you're just not going to catch that much. Oh, actually, you guys are going to have to tell me. Is, are there, um, stipulations in this game? Are there any, like, checkpoints, if you will? Or, like gate like gates i guess you would call them i don't know B basically points in the game where they say in order to actually progress past this point you need to have caught x number of different pokemon are there any of those in this game because if so um we might have to do things a little bit differently there we go okay so this dude we should be fine let's just go for it oh you're not a trainer I don't think. I have not seen any Shroomish. Oh! Our first encounter with Team Magma. Oh, look at that. In retrospect, now that I think about it, Team Magma is the main villain in this game, and we picked the Grass Starter. Maybe that wasn't the best choice. Oh well. That's alright. I think we'll be just fine. If I remember correctly, they don't actually use that many mag- uh, like, fire Pokémon. I think it's basically, like, Numel and Poochiena are, are, like, the two that they use. And then, like, sometimes Zubat. That is a level 9 Poochiena. Wow. Okay. Um, so... Leaf, I think it's all you, man. This is a very high-level, scary Poochiena. And it probably knows Howl, which means it can boost its attack. Oh, you're going to go for the sand attack. Of course you are. That's totally not at all cheaty. Give me the absorb. Let's get in there for some damage. Tackle. Didn't do much, thankfully. All right. Leaf. One more absorb after this should do the trick. We should also get some of that HP back. Actually, got all that HP back. Now he's boosting. And this should finish the job. That also means that Bandit's probably going to get quite a few levels here, which is lovely. There we go. Bandit learned Tail Whip. Go to level 6 as well. I will take the win. Hey, 
Hey, and now we got the EXP share. Fantastic. I believe it is left on. Uh, you guys are gonna have to kind of let me know. I'm kind of leaning towards leaving it on and then just doing like less grinding by fighting wild Pokemon. Cause if we leave it on and then we fight basically just the trainer battles, like I shouldn't have to do any, uh, like any off camera grinding. I think that'll be better for the series as a whole, but I'm also not necessarily completely opposed to the idea of turning it off because it does kind of make the game easier in a way. I don't know. We'll see. Let's, uh, I'm going to leave it on for now. If you guys are like super against it, I would consider turning it off. I'm not married to the idea of leaving it. Uh, Ninkata. Yeah, let's just go for a tackle with Bandit. Although, honestly, we probably shouldn't be using Bandit here. Any because he's going to be very, very, very useless in the rock gym. <laughs> he's not going to be able to do anything against rock types. All right, he goes for the hard. That's all right, though. We'll finish off this Ninkata with Bandit. Hopefully get enough levels to maybe level up to level 7. I guess we'll just see. That was a lucky crit. I will take the uh, the damage here. I'll go for one more tackle that should do it. Wow. Nope. All those hardens are doing some things. Okay. Um. Let's go for the tackle. Man, that is not doing anything. <laughs> I'm. I think I'm literally hitting him for one damage right now. But I think one more tackle might actually do it. Just because he's been he's just sitting here using Harden. That's all he's doing. But we'll go for it. Also, I've, I almost forgot. Did I, did I remember who's that Pokemon for this episode? Either way, it's been up on the screen the whole time. You guys know the drill. All right. That trainer is defeated. If you have bug Pokemon, people respect you. I don't know about that. All right, let's get Nutty into the first slot because if Nutty, actually, you know what? I should look it up. When does Nutty learn something actually useful as far as moons, uh, moves go? Um, growth, nature, wow. Like, well, that's also sun and moon. Hmm. Does he learn anything other than bide, like, anytime soon? I don't know. Either way, uh, we can just leave him on the team for now. Let's pop over here. We'll need cut to get through that. So I think we basically completed this little bit. Oh. The Team Magma Guy. This is the Petalburg Recon team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. The nefarious schemes of Team Magma. Oh, well. All right. Uh, this is a new route. Because this is considered Route 104. So we could catch a new Pokemon here. I'm totally going to take these berries. go and actually isn't this like the berry house don't they give you berry things i believe they do also can i sneak back here and get yeah there's an item there let's go see what this is i'll just be real sneaky might be worth getting or i might encounter something entirely different Ah, Zigzagoon. Species Claws. Already have a Zigzagoon. I don't get another one. Run away. I can't, I couldn't get away. Okay. Um, try this again. Run away. Thank you. Unfortunately, that means the rare one is now gone. But that's okay. If we're going to be catching Pokemon, though, we should probably have something else in our first slot. That's actually useful for catching. 
X attack. It's not great. Okay, this route has zigzagoons. It's like all that's here. Please give me something that isn't a, a zigzagoon. Pretty, pretty please. Hey, super potion. I figured there'd be a hidden item in one of these grass patches. Oh, and a Pokeball. I guess that means we probably should check that one too. Yeah, nothing. All right. Something that isn't a zigzagoon? For real? This is why the Species Clause exists. <laughs> it's three zigzagoons in a row. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's... What do you say? Echoed voice. Okay, so we got a TM. That's good. That might be worth giving. That, that might be worth using, honestly. Let's just see. It's a normal type move. Hmm. I think I'm actually just going to use it on mine. I believe in this generation, TMs are reusable. Yep, they totally are. So I'm going to, I might as well teach it to uh, both of them. Just because they have the spot in their moves anyway. So we'll just do that real quick. And then let's pop into the berry house. And I think we can get some free berries and maybe the whalemer pail here. Yes, I would love to learn about berries. Teach me all your berry secrets. It's very nice to meet you. Are you going to give me some very important information? No? Are you going to give me the very shiny Wilmer pail? No. But you did give me a berry. I'm also going to stop with the berry puns. They probably are getting very annoying. Um, eh. I couldn't resist. Come on. This is what we call low-hanging low fruit. That joke was, you know. It. All right, enough. All right, we got the Wilmer pail. Special item that allows us to grow berries a little bit better. Uh, we've already had our encounter for this... Oh, no, 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 we still haven't had our encounter for this route, because all we've gotten has been zigzagoons. Hmm. Tell you what. We're going to dodge these trainers for the moment. Uh, I'm going to go over here. We're, we're going to find something that isn't a zigzagoon, because there is grass over here. We'll do that. Please give me something that isn't a zigzagoon or something we've already caught. Oh, I swear, this patch of grass is just literally nothing but zigzagoons. I'll try once more. Nope. All right. Fine. Fine. I don't want you, zigzagoon. I have to say, I've been playing through uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on the Switch, like on my own. I've, I have actually been recording it with a capture card as well, but I don't know how I want to do a series. Hey, this is a Pokemon we don't have yet. All right, this one I will attempt to capture. Um, and I, I, I gotta say, I like the, uh, the way that they do encounters in Let's Go much better. Um, not the catching mechanics of it. Ooh, I'm poisoned. That is concerning. Does poison in this game continue to damage you outside of battle? I think we got to switch off of mine because I don't know if he can take a, a tackle. Uh, actually, probably should switch to Fang here. Um, I don't know if he can take a tackle and the poison damage if I don't catch this guy. So I'm just going to switch to Fang, just for the moment. Hopefully not get poisoned. We'll go and chuck a Pokeball at this Wumple. There we go. Wow, not even close. This is one very tough Wumple, apparently. Let's try again. Catch, please. Hmm. 
There we go. Got him. All right. Fantastic. We have a Wurmple. We have a bug, my friends. We indeed have a bug. So now we got to start thinking of a name for this Wurmple. We also got some levels, which is always nice. Yep, yep, yep. Pokedex stuff. Yes, give a nickname. What is a good name for a Wurmple? Hmm. I mean, he could evolve into Beautifly and Dustox, and we have no idea which one. You know what? I'm just going to name it Mothra. This is Mothra. The, Mothra the Wurmple. I guess the name still kind of fits regardless of what it actually evolves or which one it actually evolves into. Also, we need to look at our Pokemon. You are at nine right now. If I run a little bit... Are you still at nine? You are. Okay. So, it looks like they don't take poison damage outside of battle. But even still, that's, yeah, kind of, kind of rough. We should be, like, fairly close to the next town, though. Because, like, here's Rustboro City. We're on Route 104. I just realized that the woods... Okay, so technically... I just realized that technically this is all considered Route 104. I don't know. I still consider this a separate area. Like, the route is the same, but you go through the forest and then you come out on the other side, and there's not a way to skip the forest. Like, I really think this is a separate area. But I'll let you guys decide. Should I keep Mothra, or should I just release him uh, because Nuzlocke rules say he shouldn't have been caught? Because that's up in the air. I'm looking at the map. Technically, this is Route 104, and we caught um... What did we catch on Route 104? I think we caught Nutty on Route 104 down below the cottage. Like down, like down here. I think we caught um, Nutty. Yeah, cause we caught uh, Zigzagoon or we caught uh, Poochiana. We caught, um, let's see. We caught Fang, we caught Mine, we caught... Actually, I think... I don't know. Either way, let me know. <laughs> let me know. We caught a, we caught two Pokemon on Route 104, but do you consider this a new area? Up above the woods? Or down below? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode right here, guys, and I'll let you guys decide. We'll go with whatever one you guys... Should we release Mothra next time we get to a Pokemon Center? Or should we say, yeah, it's really a separate area because you got to go through the forest. I'll let you guys pick. Guys, that is going to do it for me today. Remember, who's that Pokemon? If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.